Hello, I'm Jake Sikowski and I am a fellow archaeologist on the site of Thermopylae. Right now we are standing on the Go Pass where the Persians totally took out and decimated the Spartan army. Now if you'd like to follow me, we have located the spot where the Spartans held off the Persians for as long as possible. Come down this way. so far. All right, so my first found, we found the shield of one of their main pieces of armor they like to have with them on every battle. They would carry this around with them all the time, and it would be a main defense for inco incoming like weapons and strikes from other enemy soldiers. One of their main weapons, the Spartan sword, uh, this is a sword they would use in all their battles. They would use it like all the time and carry it around with them. Kind of their best friend, huh? Yeah. Uh, so one of their small axes they would carry around for quick strikes would be the copus. Uh, it's just something that they would have on their side if they really needed it in like a uh, quick situation. And then one of their main formation weapons were the spear, which was the it's also called the dory. They would use this uh, behind people with that would be carrying the shield, and they would be uh, they would have that all over their shoulder as a form of like. Um, quick strike to scare off the enemy. So that quite, is some weapons. Quite a gold mine we found, haven't we? Yeah. Alright, well I'd like to take you up to where we believe we have located Leonidas Leonidas's last stand. So up this way please. So we believe this to be the site of Leonidas finally fending off his armies of the Persian Lord Xerxes. We believe this is where they overran and the archers totally decimated what was left of their ranks. So here we believe we found Leonidas' cloak or remnants of his cloak. All Spartans had the red, pretty infamous red cloak. Uh, we believe this to be Leonidas' broadsword, taking many Persians' lives with that. And also his trusty man Jonas' side, uh, side dagger. Now, thank you for joining us today at Thermopylae, and see you next time.